Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to today's uh, quick vlog, hopefully. Uh, if you missed the last one, basically I'm out injured, I injured my Achilles tendon and um, yeah, this is the first week of just trying to recover, do the rehab. I'm not really sure where this video is going to go or the title just yet, but I do know that I've got my guy Bilal, Bilal the physio, coming down later on today. So hopefully he's going to be able to show you guys and take you through what I've actually done. So hopefully you can't and won't do the same. Back in the HQ, haven't really shown you the kind of updates in here for a while. So let's do a quick, quick, quick tour. Um, like it still has the same sort of look, but we are going to basically change a lot of it up. I've just got uh, some things to take out, such as this gym, oh, which is right here still. Got to take out this gym, make some space there. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an architect and interior design team to fix up the kind of uh, look of this whole place. So we're gonna get branding all across the walls, repaint everything, move all these shelves out of the way. Instead of using this table tennis table as like the sort of packaging station, we're gonna maybe have a fold away table, which will save a lot of space in the middle of the room. And yeah, whenever we need to move it, we can move it and get much more space back here. Cause right now, uh, this was pretty much, yeah, my fault. So what I ended up doing, uh, one of the mistakes I made looking back on it now was just not really understanding how much stock and how uh, fast the growth of the company could become. So I ended up just kind of buying random shelves, just dumping boxes in there and then just trying to position it uh, kind of as we went along. I didn't have a, really a plan, didn't really understand again how uh, fast we were going to kind of expand and grow so you know nothing was placed where it should be placed so the efficiency in that in that joint <laughs> is a mess and I understand it's always been a mess and again part of my mistake is that I I've been putting it back I've been just putting it sort of way back to kind of in the future way back that doesn't make sense so another thing I want to really change up is the look of this kind of front bit here right so as you all know like a lot of my videos take place with this in the background so this has effectively become sort of my studio my setup right like everything that you guys see on this channel every tutorial uh this backdrop is the kind of look it's the studio so i want to basically put that the logo maybe right here in the middle of this top bit of the roof um i need to sand it down i need to maybe repaint it uh and also the doors as much as i love the doors it just may need a little bit of a paint or something else something else different on it maybe so there's a lot of things that i really want to i want to get done with this place uh i'm gonna invest uh, a little bit of money got an architect already involved the design team i've got my graphic designer who's going to come on board as well of course and um i really want to make it state of the art this for me is the home of skipping like i'm very proud of this place uh, although it's super messy and it doesn't deserve to be like this and it's been sort of mistreated um for me like it's uh it's um, a special place, man. So I'm still getting pulled up for all these weeds, guys. I'm so, so sorry. I promise you, when this storm, this hurricanes and all this kind of madness in England kind of clear up, uh, I'm gonna get this all sorted out. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done here. I also wanna get like an RA mat here, like a branded mat, like a big mat. Look at all this like old school matting, man. It's just, it's just bad, man. I just wanna, wanna make this place look nice again. So I picked up this um, iPad Peeps 2019 10.2 something inch something like that i've got the keyboard as well which is attached here and it came with a pen but i think it's quite useful for me right now because i want to be designing on the go now so anytime i get an idea for like maybe apparel t-shirts whatever it is note taking i can use the pen to kind of scribble ideas then here this page right now hopefully you can't see the names but these are all the order lists that we have to get through daily so it's kind of useful in the gym when you're just kind of walking in and around the place maybe have this in hand, especially for big, big orders, and then you can just kind of tick off the orders and everything else like that. Right peeps, I get asked a lot, um, what's our most popular colors and this right now is blowing up um the limited edition ghost rope one of my favorite ropes uh, i use it pretty much in nearly all my tutorials you see outside the gym and in my own gym as well when i'm when i'm training but this along with the iconic yellow uh, black and yellow are usually the most popular otherwise for legacy rope we're out of stock on the green 
uh, and uh, yellow usually goes down low as well. So if you're looking to cop either the speed rope or the legacy rope, go for this bad boy or go for the iconic yellow. That's my recommendation. There we go. Voila, there you go, infamous king of the skies. Love it when you guys um, pick up the apparel, man, like especially like all the little bits and pieces that we have, the accessories, the mats, t-shirts, whatever you name it. Look, man, because it shows that we're just more than ropes. We're trying to build a, obviously a movement. We're trying to build a fitness and lifestyle uh, business. And when you guys support like this, when you pick up all this stuff, like all the apparel, makes me happy, man, because it shows me that you guys are repping and that um yeah that you like us trust me our stuff is insane man the, the feel the quality is next level man it is super high grade stuff it's premium and it's cheap as well from my, in my opinion anyway, it's super cheap compared to like kind of like the big big boy brands um so yeah man go get involved man pick it up got my website details right here somewhere and uh you got your discount as well man use youtube 10 youtube, YouTube 10 for that 10 percent discount sick order that's what we call a big boy order. Big up to whoever ordered this. His name's John. I can't give you his surname, but his name's John. Sick guy, John. You need to cop yourself some of these peeps RA compression leggings. Defo, defo, must have in your gym bag. Custom waistband, super comfortable, man. I actually prefer the lighter color. I like the, the light white and gray kind of color, but these black ones are really nice as well. I feel like they just make my legs look a bit too skinny sometimes. <laughs> few orders done this morning it's now about 11 o'clock um, need to get my morning walk on one thing that is really frustrating me about today um, considering now I'm, I'm out injured is the fact that the Sun is shining and literally for the last three weeks it has been bucketing I mean chucking it down with rain it's been impossible to make videos and even when I was injured and I had to try and fight on and I, and I really want to get content out there the weather was just taking the piss and now it's a beautiful day. This would be an ideal day to, to get a tutorial out. <laughs> Stress. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a bit of the, the kind of morning sesh done for me. I'm now going to get uh, on my bike and um, that's slang for kind of just get on the move. Not, I don't actually have a bike, <laughs> but I'm going to get on the move, get my walk in and uh, just take you along for the day. Nearly forgot to show you this, guys. So. I um I made something for fun. So for a bit of fun guys, I made myself a pair of sunglasses because I just thought, you know what, why not? I love my sunglasses and let me try and make some. So I made some in the style that I, I really do like. This is the sort of style I like. Anyway, so it's got this like little silver accent here. So you got the logo on the side and peeps, these are super cheap and cheerful. I'm gonna get these on right now. Wow, what's happened to the light here? There we go. Uh, cheap and cheerful man, they've got some UV protectors and all this kind of uh, stuff that most sunglasses have these days um, But I'm gonna stick them on the website and also I'm probably just gonna stick them in people's packages Like if you make a, a sick order like a big order, I'm just gonna throw them in to be honest with you I'm gonna put them on the website for like under a tenner They're just the type of sunglasses that you just go you pick up you throw you chuck on the beach chuck by the pool um, They're not supposed to be expensive at all man. I literally just wanted to make some sunglasses uh, For the fun of it. So um, yeah, there you go a little rascal. There you go, buddy. Enjoy some of that. Right now, I just feel a little bit, um, I feel like this is both good and bad, right? The bad side, obviously, is that uh, I'm not able to, to do what I love, right? I'm not able to practice, I'm not able to create videos, I'm not able to create content and, and get a good session and training and all that kind of stuff. Feel that buzz, feel that endorphin kind of kick in. Um, and that's the bad side, of course. Uh, then on top of that, and for my business, like I had that kind of thought process where like, you know, skipping is my business. If I'm not skipping, then, you know, where does that leave me? Uh, obviously there's that risk factor like if I ever get injured if I'm not able to create content tutorials etc etc where does that leave me so um 
that's all that kind of risky side, that kind of insecurity side, like what's going to happen in the future. But then, um, then the kind of other side of me, the positive rush side, kind of uh, comes up and is just like, mate, just just stop crying like a little. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, like this is this is the least of your worries, right? There could be a million things that could be going wrong in life right now for you, and you know, you're a guy who has, you know, been able to stop doing what he didn't like to then do what he loved every day and that's just always in, in the sort of process of how I think so um, this is just a kind of blip it's a little speed bump uh, and you know what I just want to say thank you for for all the amazing messages this light is a little bit harsh isn't it let's turn this down man that looks better maybe not I don't know I honestly need to sort out this beard man I'm just it just looks awful um, then then the, that side kind of kicks in and, and that's when I'm just like, you know what man, like I'm living the fucking dream man. I'm like, there's nothing you can complain about. Like there's nothing I can actually complain about. This was my fault. Um, yeah, it sucks. Like how am I going to get over this? Mentally, I already know that I'm strong as nails, right? Because I've already done this kind of, um, like I've already gone through this process before, right? In the past, like I said, with those hip operations, I was unable to even walk for three months, yeah? Like for that whole half year of 2017, I was couch bound uh, with two hip operations. So like there's nothing that I, I haven't experienced in terms of like being at the low of all lows in terms of doing no activity at all. So this is just mine, at least I can walk, at least I can get about, at least I can swim. Um, so in terms of how I'm actually feeling, good and bad, the bad is just nothing compared to really what's going good right now. And the, the sort of like luck and just how fortunate I feel like that is how you should really be thinking right and whenever thing, anything is just going wrong in life whenever you feel bad or rubbish or shit whatever it is having a bad day like just get shit into perspective like get your life into perspective like think of all the good things that are happening in life and if you're one of those guys that like, oh, i've got nothing good in life rush like seriously nothing is going wrong but the fact that you are alive and you're breathing you got a chance to do something with yourself and that you actually have some food at least and that you know you just have some clothes on your body and you probably do live under a roof like if you're watching this you've got internet so that is fucking you got money right you got something that you can actually pay bills and shit with like you probably got a job like just make the most of it like stop complaining like that is just how I kind of just talk to myself sometimes when I'm just uh, you know having these little ruts or feeling low like I just have a little rant to myself and be like stop acting like a little <laughs> just stop acting like a little like you, you just nothing wrong right this is nothing wrong. Anyway. And this has turned into like a little mini rant on myself again, but well, that kind of escalated. I didn't mean it for it to sound a little bit aggressive there, but I'm just just being, I'm just getting that kind of energy back back into myself because I'm, I'm about to go hit the gym and do some swimming, <laughs> which is usually therapeutic. But I'm, I need to amp myself up because I'm not able to skip, I'm not able to kind of get that sweat going. I'm gonna just take it to the swimming pool right now. <laughs> right, folks, just gone. 2 p.m. now, back on my walk. Uh, the watch is saying I've done about 4,000 steps, which I don't know how accurate that is. It feels like I haven't done anything. But I'm um, gonna try and aim for about seven or 8,000 a day. Uh, so I'm gonna go down to the gym, uh, get my swim on. Hopefully get about 25 lengths, non-stop 26 lengths, which is about, I don't know, 500 and bit meters. Um, the aim is just to get some movement in my body, get the heart moving, uh, burn some calories. Like when you go through, you know, a period of like a lot of activity and then you get injured, this is a moment in my in my kind of previous experience where I found that I can put on a lot of weight really quickly, unwanted weight as well. You know, you find yourself not being able to do something you really love, or you know, you're being stopped from injury, like by injury and everything else like that. But um, just look around you, man. Take some perspective. There's something that you can kind of dabble in, spend some time in here, spend some time in there, and that will then kind of let everything else elevate, grow around you um, until you get back on your feet. So that's the way I'm thinking right now. Um, positive, sharp laser focused <laughs> all right peeps swim done going on today's topic um the second kind of way of dealing with injury depression is just to stay on the move guys like people who go through injuries they can generally still walk they can't just do like intense exercise so find something that you can do something like swimming is good if you can get out and about do these kind of walks that i do really good for your mind good for your body um and just mentally it's just it's powerful man it allows you just to get stock of what you need to sort out in your life uh 
refreshes your brain, gets you energized, just makes you feel good, man. You don't want to be at home. That's the last thing you want to do. Just stay at home and, and feel down, doing nothing, eating, binging, and uh, putting on weight. That's not what you want to do. We're not in trouble, are we? No, what sort of hours they're doing and what sort of deals they got for the future and stupid stuff like that. Oh. Raw mill politics. Yeah. As long as it gets from A to B, we're happy, man. <laughs> That's all we care about, man. Look who it is. Who's that? We've got to blank out your number plate. Billy the physio up in the house. Good. So what's up to everyone watching? Ah! Oh, what's going what on, are you guys? squeezing my hand for? It's been a while, you know. It's been a while. Come through, man. Yeah, I'm tired, man. You're gonna come help me fix? Come help me fix. Come, come fix me. I'll try my best, man. Let's do it, man. I'll try my best. Let's do it. Listen, bro. What are we what are we doing today? Why is it coming so close to my face, man? It's quite wide, actually. So why don't? Is it? Oh. Yeah. What are we doing today? You're gonna you're gonna check out the leg and you, then. You call me up. You had a bit of a leg problem. Yeah. So we'll try our best to fix it, no? You look sick on camera, man. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, man. Billy the Fizz. He's come, he's come all branded up as well. Obviously, you got to represent the team in there. I don't I'm, just come like that. I've got to make you look team. taller, bro. I'm tall. I'm six foot, man. Just the angles and the fish, <laughs> fish camera lens, isn't it? The B-roll and that. Let's, um, let's, <laughs> let's, set, up the, let's set up the table somewhere. Yes, yeah. that's good. That's but good. Let's put on the table tennis table or something. <laughs> you actually got your own table? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Come on, any real true physio. I was gonna jump on the for real. I was gonna jump on the table tennis table. <laughs> any real physio comes with two things. Yeah, the first one's kind of naughty. It's this. <laughs> What's that? A baby oil. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> and the professional, he's got the he's got the table. Yeah. Yes. Any real physio's got those two things. Baby oil and table. Let's, let's do this, man. <laughs> Yo, bro. So has this has this been sanitized? Has he been sanitized? <laughs> I'm a clean physio, man. I'll tell you what, though. This, is this has seen some good athletes in my time. <laughs> and you're certainly not one of them, I'll be honest. Yeah. Quick summary. Few words. You think you're doing your professional voice already? Few words. <laughs> this is not my question about normal voice. There's a weird, heard your real voice. There's a weird now. theory going around. I speak differently. I don't. It's the same. Oh, I don't. So, it's it's a brief, a few words, yeah. summary, what exactly went wrong. Because people come to me and they say, oh, you told me what went wrong. But at the end of the day, I think in the back of your mind, you know what, what went wrong. So, so, so I was skipping, uh, what's it in? No, leg day. I was doing raises like this, innit? All the way down, all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Did that on Monday. Yeah. And then literally the next day, just skipping for two hour, two and a half hours. Then the next day, I did a tutorial, small skipping. Yeah. And then Thursday, I did boxing with Eubank. And then after that, but then each time when I started, when I did the tutorial on YouTube on the Wednesday, that's when I felt it cramping up. So both legs cramped up. Right. And then now it's just the left leg every time I skip. So yeah, this is a problem. I think in the skipping world is quite big. Yeah. Especially when you're starting and you're really getting into it, or if you're at the more higher level of skipping and you're just hammering it out for days on end or hours at a time mm. without having ample recovery, you know, con consecutively in days. So it's an issue, but I think the fact that it happens to you, of all people, I know. goes to show that, hey, yeah, you're all human. More. This is what I'm saying, guys, man. Like, I've been skipping for four years here, like, nearly non-stop. All, like, every, every other day minimum, like, so, like, four or five times a week. And this is the first time, like... I think his skipping has really mashed me up. Prognosis, diagnosis, two separate things. Diagnosis <laughs> is, based, is based on an assessment, which yeah. is what we're going to do now. Yeah. After an assessment, we come up with a plan. After the plan, we execute it, and when we execute it, we get back to skipping. It's as simple as that. It's my man. How's that sound? There you go, man. Go check him out, yeah? Bilal, what's, what's your details? You know Don't worry about me. <laughs> Some bigger cast today, man. This is a good workout. I wouldn't go that far. But what that does mean is we can try some skipping. What now? Yeah. Let's do it, man. Why not? Look a bit rusty in that. Right. 
So, Bilal's had about 20 minutes here. Let's get you in the light, man. It's all it takes, 20 minutes. I'm feeling time. good. But th this is the thing, I was able to skip through the pain for the last month. Oh, okay. And then it would seize up. But it's not severe, that's the main thing. Don't worry about it. You get you back nice and slowly, but you will be back. Trust me. You hear that, peeps? I'm gonna be back. It's not severe. Dr. Bilal says so, I believe him. But we've gotta take it easy. Respect, man. Now we've got right. to up here, bruv. Respect. All right. Anyway, guys, I don't know where this vlog's gone. Uh, hope you got some value out of it. Bilal, you might as well say bye. Sin a bit. Sin a bit. Any questions, ask me in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Yeah, yeah, make sure you come back. Otherwise, guys, uh, appreciate hanging out with you today. Um, hope you found some value, as always. Uh, guys, appreciate you all. Um, see you in the next video. Peace. Why are you shooting them for, bruv? Shoot them, <laughs> bruv, you can't that. do that, man. That. <laughs> no, another athlete to my collection. <laughs> Not just any athlete, bro. Not any athlete. The one with the smallest cars we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd say something else there. <laughs> <laughs>